Do you want to create thumbnails and social content in less time? Well, you're in luck because in today's video, I'm going to show you how I use Adobe's ecosystem of design tools, including Photoshop, Lightroom, Firefly, and Adobe Express to create my own YouTube thumbnails and Instagram reel covers just starting from a photo that I took on my phone. Let's jump on in. So how did I go from this photo to this design? Every step that I took to get there is outlined below in the time-coded chapter, so you can review at any time. I'm also happy to share that Adobe reached out and they're the sponsor of this video. So let's go into step one. So the first step is to enhance our image inside of Lightroom using the new AI detection masking. Over here on the right, I'm going to select the masking icon. And this is going to scan the image and detect the people in it, which is me. So let's go ahead and select person one. If you have multiple people, you'll have person one, person two, person three, and you can see I'm highlighted. So let's go ahead and select that. So in this case, we just want to mask the facial skin. We don't have to do any manual selection. All I need to do is select facial skin. And look at that, it selected just my face. If I wanna include the body skin, I can also check that, but that will include the neck and the hand, which I don't necessarily want, but you can see that they're selected. And when I hover over, my face, neck, and hand are selected. How cool is that? So let's go ahead and uncheck body skin, and you can see my eyebrows and my eyes and my lips are not selected. So let's go ahead and create our mask. Now we can go through all of these manual controls here and make adjustments just to the skin mask. Or what we can do is use the preset, which is smooth skin. Let's go ahead and select that. So let's turn off the facial skin mask. That's the before. And this is the after. It's a very subtle smoothing effect. And all this is doing, if you're curious, if we scroll down, is reduce the texture. You just want it to be a subtle amount, so around here is good. But you can see that this is a super fast AI image workflow for smoothing your skin. Let's do the same thing, but to make the eyes pop, let's go to create a new mask, person, and this time we'll select the eye whites and the iris and pupil, and hit create. And let's go over here to the preset and select enhance eyes. This is the before, and this is the after. So you can see it just made it pop more using that preset. Let's control click and right click on the image thumbnail here and go to compare before and after. So we have the before and after here. And one thing I wanted to mention was if you think that the eye enhancement is too much, you can always go back to masking. And since we had a preset here, you can also reduce the amount of the preset. So you can just pop this down and it won't be as much, but I think just here in the middle is fine. All right, so now that we're done, we'll go up here to this icon to export our image, and then we can upload it to Firefly to edit it using a text prompt. So here from the Adobe Firefly homepage, we're gonna go down to new ways to create and select edit an image, use a text prompt to edit. So let's select that. Let's drag in the image that we just edited from Lightroom. And now we can type in what we want to create or edit. Now for the prompt, I want to be as specific as possible on what I want to replace or change in the image. In this case, the video is about tennis. So I want to replace the background with a tennis court and I want to change my hat while keeping the logo the same to be a tennis ball texture. So let's type in replace the background with a beautiful tennis court in the desert with palm trees and mountains in the background. Replace the baseball hat with a tennis ball color and texture. Do not change the appearance of the woman and keep the logo on the hat the same. Harmonize the foreground and background so the lighting looks consistent. And for style, make it cinematic. And I found a typo. Now there are a variety of AI models to choose from. You can use the Firefly Image 5, which is commercially safe, but you also have the option to use partner models as well. In this case, let's first try Firefly Image 5 to see how it works and generate. Honestly, this looks pretty good and the lighting is great. The only thing is that the court doesn't look quite like 
a tennis court, that's okay, we can try regenerating again. But one other thing I wanted to call attention to is right now with Firefly Image 5 Preview, you can't change the aspect ratio. But if you wanted to change the aspect ratio, you can try the Gemini 3 with Nano Banana Pro. Make sure to add, keep the camera angle the same. Make sure you're using the original reference image and let's select vertical because we're creating an Instagram reel and we want it to be nine by 16, not three by four. And now let's hit generate. So you can see here with Nano Banana version that the hat has a little bit more detail like a tennis ball. The Firefly version was good, but it kept, it kept the same kind of style as the hat, but I really wanted it to be like a tennis ball. And the court looks great in the background as well. So. What do we do now? Let's say you want to make an expanded landscape version for YouTube. So we want to make sure to use this current image as the reference. You can just hover over the reference and you can make sure that you have the newly generated image here. You can also add up to six different reference images if you need to. And now we need to change it to a widescreen 16 by nine. And then let's type in Expand the image to be in a widescreen landscape image. Keep the logo on the hat the same. Let's generate. So as you can see, this image editing is super useful as a creator because I can create multiple versions of the same asset for different social media platforms instantly. It's pretty wild that we're kind of in the future where we're basically giving text voice commands to edit an image. I mean, wild. So we can go up here to download this vertical version and this landscape version. But let's say you wanna make any other edits because I'm actually not happy with the fence here. I don't wanna have a fence in the background. I realize in this expanded version, I wanna see more of the desert. So I'm gonna make one more quick edit here before I download. Make sure to have this image as a reference. Remove the fence around the tennis court. Replace with a more beautiful hard top surface tennis court surrounded by desert palm trees and mountains. Keep the woman's appearance the same and camera angle the same. Keep the logo on the hat the same and hit generate. All right, so this is the before and now this is the after. The fence is gone and everything has remained the same. So now I'm gonna move over to Photoshop to show you some other tools. So let's go ahead and download this and open it up in Photoshop. So Photoshop also has some fast AI tools that will speed up your content creation. So with the Firefly image here, you can see as we zoom in, the quality is actually kind of low, but now there's generative upscale inside of Photoshop that can literally improve and add detail to your images in just a few moments. So let's go up to image here and generative upscale. And you can see we can use the Firefly Upscaler, but we can also use partner models like Topaz Gigapixel, which actually works great for preserving the existing detail while upscaling it. And then there's Topaz Bloom, which will improve the quality, but it will also add in some more creative detail so it can make changes to the image. So if you don't wanna make any changes to the image, don't use Bloom, but if you're curious about Bloom, of what it will add, you can try it out. Let's use Gigapixel here, and also make sure to check face recovery. And let's do two times, but you can also do four times if you like. Let's go ahead and upscale. And the reason why I'm doing this is that it's important to enhance the image first so it's of higher quality before we do further editing. So this is the original and this is the after. So you can see how it cleaned up around the eyes and just helped define those lines. So let's stick with this one and don't sleep on upscale. It's definitely gonna help you. Next, this is gonna blow your mind, changing the camera angle of these images using generative fill. So to change the camera angle, go up to the rectangular marquee tool or press M, and then you can press Command A or Control A. And then from the taskbar here, let's click on generative fill, and then we can type in the new camera angle that we want. Change camera angle to a wide shot where you see the full body of the woman on the tennis court and generate. And it did work, it actually looks pretty good, um, but we can try a couple others. So we can actually turn off this layer, go back to this one, select it, and then press Command A, and let's go back to generative fill and type in change camera angle to a high angle drone shot. And here's the high angle shot, 
I mean, it's accurate, right? Let's go ahead and try one more. Change camera angle to an extreme low angle shot. It did just that and you can see the surface of the tennis court. And from here, if we wanted to, we could use the lasso tool to remove this lamppost on the side and just hit remove from the taskbar. And then we can just move the image down and we can select the top part to generate and expand the sky. Changing the camera angle is just a starting point. You can still use tools like Generative Fill and Generative Expand inside of Photoshop to further improve the image, and it's still really fast. And of course, what I like to do is drag in the Firefly logo and have it in the corner here. For all my tutorials, I like to showcase the logo that I use, and I usually put it up in the upper right or upper left of my thumbnail. And so I can just export a version like this, I can export a version like that, and export a version like this, and like this, and see which one performs the best. So thanks to my Adobe Workflow here, I can create quick variants that I can use to A-B test on YouTube because I have A-B testing now. So Photoshop is one way to create quick social media content, but you can also use Adobe Express to create quick social media content with AI. For example, I'm here on the Adobe Express homepage and I want to drag in one of the images that I generated. And you have three options here. You can edit the original image, you can remove the background, which we don't want because we already replaced the background with Firefly in this case, but you can also add it to a design. I'm going to click on edit original image. So Adobe Express comes built in with a bunch of neat text and graphic tools that you can overlay on your images and some resizing tools as well. First, let's start with some text. So let's click on text and we can type in our own text. We can choose these defaults or select from any of these templates here. I'm gonna choose this button template and I'm going to reposition this and type in generate instead. Now I wanna resize this image. There's many different ways that you can expand your images using AI into different aspect ratios. Before I used Firefly, Nano Banana Pro, you can also expand the image inside of Photoshop using the crop tool, which I've showed you in previous videos. And now in Adobe Express, you can click over here, the kind of gray area, and you can go over here to the edit page menu and select resize. And you can search for a particular template. In this case, let's search for YouTube and let's select YouTube thumbnail. And by default, YouTube thumbnail is 1280 by 720. But if you want a higher res, you can always choose YouTube video. Let's choose this and then make sure to check expand image. And basically this will generate the missing parts of the image for you. Let's go ahead and resize. This is the same technology that's inside of Photoshop when you use the crop tool and use Generative Expand. It's just another place where you can get things done. If you prefer to use Express, then you might wanna use this. So it'll give you a few different expanded variations. Sometimes it does some strange things like this. You do get some strange results and sometimes they're pretty good, but let's go ahead and generate more so we have more options to choose from. In terms of more complicated backgrounds, I would say that expanding with the Nano Banana Pro inside of Firefly works best for more accuracy. So I think this one was probably the best result. So what I'm gonna do now is just expand this and move this over. And I'm also going to select it and then select the color on the left and go to the dropper. And let's select the red of the Adobe so that way it matches better. And then we can change this text to a white color so you can read it better. You can also upload your own media by clicking on add content media. I've already uploaded that Firefly icon like I did inside of Photoshop. So I can go to your stuff, uploads, and you can see Firefly's here. So I'm just going to click on Firefly. And now I'm going to reposition this just by selecting the transform controls and move it over to the right. I do see that the red that I selected before is a bit dark, so I'm going to reselect with the dropper tool this brighter red color so it matches. So now that we're done, we can go and click on download or we can go over to share. And this is where you can share to social if you'd like. 
And this will allow you to brainstorm captions for your social media post. So here you can type in a brief idea of what you wanted your description can be, and you can generate better versions of that to use inside your description box or on Instagram, for example. So let's paste in this little caption I came up with, which is learn how to use Adobe AI image editing tools to create quick social media content. When we click on generate, we have a few different options. We can generate a new caption, rewrite, shorten, or lengthen. Let's go ahead and rewrite it. And it wrote, unlock your creativity with Adobe AI image editing tools and craft stunning social media content in a snap. Get ready to elevate your post. Hashtag Adobe AI, image editing, social media magic. So it's taking this information in the hashtags that are popular on social media and providing different options for you. So you can then take this and paste it in your content. It's just a quick way to kind of generate some ideas. You can try a few different options, generate a new caption. There we go. It created a much longer caption here and you can rate it as well. So then you would select insert and it will get posted here. And in this case, I would just copy and paste it to my YouTube description box because this is just the thumbnail. But if I did wanna post this photo directly to Instagram, I could connect by clicking start connecting my Instagram account and post directly with this caption to Instagram, which I'm sure would be really useful to a lot of you watching. So as you can see from all these different AI image editing tools, including Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, Firefly, and Adobe Express, I was able to take this photo that I took on my phone in a park and enhance it and transform it into a variety of different thumbnail and cover images to test on social media. And I didn't have to do any manual compositing or anything like this. It's just fast social media content creation. And this is great as creators, right? Especially if you run your own show and you do everything, you need to save time. So try out some of these powerful AI image editing hacks to improve and speed up your content creation process. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, keep creating better video, photo, and audio with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Fade to black. Oh, and if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks.